hey guys welcome back to another video so today we are talking about seven devices we should be expecting in 2023 and some of these devices are very obvious especially the apple product and samsung these are brands that release devices like every year so we should be expecting new devices from them next year and not to talk about how close we are to next year these devices are literally just some few months away from us and we should be expecting to see them very soon so the first device we have here is the apple iphone 15 it's been about five months since the apple iphone 14 was released and frankly it's a good phone not that much of improvement before we get to the video let's have a moment of silence to the people that actually use an actual iphone 14 money to buy the fake iphone 14 like that's a big deal so let's have a moment of silence for them yeah that's for you and if you are watching this video and you are the type of person that sells fake phone to people please you have to stop that 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 thing is crazy like you can drive someone crazy doing that just imagine using thousand over thousand dollars to buy a phone or especially people living in ghana just using over twenty one thousand ghana cities to buy a phone and really the phone is fake like bro bro that, that shit is crazy that that shit is crazy. you don't have to do something like that okay so please i know it's your way of getting money or whatever but please you have to stop selling fake phones to people and if if you've ever been a victim to such a situation all i can say is sorry but please when you're going to buy your devices make sure you research online that that's the best way to go research online if your friend is having some Take it, check it before you go and buy your devices to avoid buying fake devices or just go to the store. Right, so that's just by the way. Let's continue with the video. The first device we have here is the Apple iPhone 15. Obviously, Apple is going to release the Apple iPhone 15 next year, which I know most people will be expecting. These are some of the features you should be expecting from the Apple iPhone 15 so first we are having a titanium frame this is actually a feature that was supposed to be on the apple iphone 14. there are a lot of rumors that we will have the titanium frame on the apple iphone 14. the reason why this is important is the fingerprint problem with the apple iphone 14 stainless steel frame so a lot of people complain about having their fingerprints on their phone just by touch and all of that so that was why the titanium frame was actually a big deal for iphone users and also the titanium frame is lighter and yet still stronger and scratch resistant than the stainless steel another feature with the apple iphone 15 would be the no notch this year we were expecting the apple iphone 14 to have a no notch but it actually came with a dynamic island which some people love and some people hate I, I can't really be the judge for that personally i think it's cool there is nothing wrong with the dynamic island or whatsoever so we have the 8k video recording this is the most annoying part of the apple iphone 14. apple was able to upgrade their rear cameras to 48 megapixel right and utilizing the full pixel but apple still decided not to bring 8k recording to the iphone 14. they are literally just keeping it to put it to the next phone so that you could buy it that's how it looks like okay like they were literally just keeping it to put it to the next device so that you can buy it. and and it's kind of annoying because the uh, the device is having like everything for them to introduce 8k recording okay, samsung was able to bring the 8k recording to the galaxy s22 series so i don't know what prevented apple from introducing 8k recording to the apple iphone 14 that's just annoying and the next device we have here is galaxy s23 so obviously again samsung is going to release the galaxy s23 next year and we are expecting the phone to have 200 megapixel camera well most people will understand by now that camera performance does not only depend on the number of pixels there are lots of camera performance but in this case samsung is introducing pixel burning to their cameras which is actually a good step for samsung and the next device we have here is the 15 inch macbook air there has been rumors that apple will release a 15 inch apple macbook air which will be similar to the macbook pro but um, lighter and thinner and also will have a slimmer bezel compared to the previous apple macbook air 
we also have the samsung rollable phones at number four well if you've not heard about the rollable phone yet it's a cool samsung device very similar to the samsung fold that in this case you are not folding it you are rather rolling it so if you want a smaller screen you roll it in if you want a bigger screen you roll it out giving you both a smartphone and then a tablet at the same time so that is what the samsung galaxy role is going to look like and actually we were expecting to see it this year but samsung did not release it this year so hopefully samsung will release it next year we also have the apple tv home pad and facetime camera all in one device coming in next year so this device has been in development since 2021 and most people believe we are getting it next year and this is a combination of the Apple TV, HomePod and then the FaceTime camera all in one device and hopefully Apple will release it next year. We also have the Samsung Freestyle 2 coming next year. Samsung released the first model of the Samsung Freestyle this year and hopefully we are going to get the Freestyle 2 this year. If you don't know what the Samsung Freestyle is, it's a TV in form of a projector. So you have a projector that serves as a TV and at the same time a projector. I believe this could be the next generation of televisions because it's a very portable device. And yes, so you can have a 100 inch display at the same time, 32, I think it starts from 43 or something. You can have from 43 to 100 inches based on your choice. So all they have to do is to find a way to increase the brightness and actually give it a, a better display than what it's having right now. And this will be the next big deal in place of TVs. And finally, we have the Apple VR set. This is a big deal. This is actually a very big deal for Apple and could be the next big thing for the entire world when it comes to digital technology. Earlier this year, Mark Zuckerberg talked about the metaverse and it's all about a VR set. So Apple is not going to take this lightly and though they are going to try as much as possible for people not to say is they are doing it because of Mark Zuckerberg or whatever but Apple will surely bring a VR headset and they've been working on it for some time now so we should be expecting it next year and that's all for this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel also don't forget to put your thoughts in the comments thank you guys so much for watching see you in the next video and bye bye for now.